Hi, CCNS families. It's Mrs. Fessenden. We're thinking of you and missing all of you and wanted to say hello and share with you a little bit of what I'm doing at home with my family right now. So I'm currently working from home and my husband who is a teacher is also working from home, but our three children are on spring break. So they've had a lot of free time on their hands. Since this is a time that we're none of us are really used to, we thought that we could create a family schedule that would give us a little bit of a sense of normalcy, predictability, and we've been surprised by how much fun it's actually been providing as well. So I wanted to share with you something that we've put together. It's given us structure, it's given us predictability, and it's really something that we think can benefit from any age. So just to give you an idea, in our house we have a six-year-old, a nine-year-old, and a 10-year-old. So please keep in mind the ages of our children. I know that everyone has a different family dynamic with varying needs and varying interests, but this outline has proven to be very effective. So here's a look at our day. So everybody wakes up very early in our house <laughs> and the kids have some free play. Then we have breakfast and then at nine o'clock they play as well. Sometimes it's independently, sometimes it's with each other. Sometimes it's with magnetiles, sometimes it's with Legos, it varies every day. At about 10 o'clock, we get ourselves together and we do reading and writing. Now this looks different for all of our children because they're all at different levels. So sometimes this might mean independent reading, it could mean reading aloud, it could mean reading to a sibling or book looking. We're all doing different things. And then when we talk about writing, this also looks very different. So while my oldest might be writing a journal entry about something that she did yesterday, my youngest might be making letters out of Play-Doh. At 11 o'clock, we all go outdoors. It looks different every day. Yesterday, we had the chance to play family kickball, but again, that was unique. I know from everyone has different busy lives and that was sort of a special treat. Typically they're playing independently. We have lunch around 12 o'clock and then after lunch, we go outside and we do art or outdoor play. Something that's been really fun is we've been taking out art supplies and paper and just drawing what we see, drawing what we feel, painting what we hear. We've been really creative and that's just been a ton of fun to take that medium outside. At two o'clock, we have a special activity. Now that different is different every day as well. We baked the other day. Sometimes we'll do an exercise program on the computer. My kids have been very interested in doing Just Dance. We'll do yoga videos. We'll do all sorts of different things. At three o'clock, we've been allowing our children and encouraging our children to have virtual play dates. These have been proven to be so effective in terms of keeping in touch with the people we miss and we love, and the kids have really been enjoying using this platform to catch up with their buddies. This is also a time where mom and dad, <laughs> or mom, puts dinner together and just sort of does all the things that we need to do that we haven't been able to do all day. At 4.30, we've been taking advantage of the nice weather and going outside for a walk. Right now, this really just means walking in our neighborhood and up and down our street, but it's been a fantastic time to just slow down, notice what we see around us and have a great conversation. At five o'clock, we've been giving them show and iPad time. It might look strange to see this on the schedule, but in actuality, it has really limited the amount of time that they are on their screens because they're not asking for it during the day. They know that at five o'clock while we prepare and finish dinner, that's time that they're allowed to pick a show or do a game on an iPad until dinner is ready. So at 5.30, we have dinner. We've been trying to stick to that time. It's not always easy. <laughs> and then after dinner, we do our typical bed time routine. Now again, we've been home for about a week. This has changed a few different times. It's very general, but it's sort of kept our family in a great groove. The children have enjoyed checking it in the morning, adding ideas, switching out activities. Um, but next week, my children will all be back in school. So this will look very different than it looks right now. Because again, right now they're on spring break. Starting on Monday, all three of them will be engaging in homeschooling. So I can check back in with you and share with you what our day looks like then. 
but the key to this is flexibility, modification, and just do what works for your family. But I have to say, this has been something that has been more beneficial than we could have anticipated. And I hope that in sharing with this with you, it helps you in some capacity. We're thinking of you, we're here for you, and hope you enjoy some wonderful time with your kitties right now. Bye-bye.